Hi, and welcome to Bike Club. Today, we're at the University of Toronto, finding out what they're working on in the Computer Science Department. This is the Department of Computer Science at the University of Toronto. We were Canada's first computer science department. We're its biggest, and a lot of us think we're the best. I'm a senior lecturer here, which means my main responsibility is to teach classes for computer science students and for engineers. Mainly these days, my focus has been to teach video game design courses to some of our computer science students. One of the things about computer science is that it interacts with everything. You know, there's computer science and science, computer science and medicine, computer science and art and music. So whatever areas are interested in doing something really interesting and technical, they can just come to us and work with us. We teach a lot of undergraduate classes from introductory courses all the way up to senior year, and most of us also supervise graduate students who are doing leading edge research in a wide variety of fields. Over the summertime, you know, the faculty, we tend to have time to be able to work on whatever projects we want to. Um, some of the students, they also have this free time, and they want to be able to get involved, do something outside of regular coursework. You know, something where they get to work with a prof, where they get to do interesting, really cool new things. They get a chance to get some experience and work with us. We get a chance to see some of the projects that we've always wanted to do realized. Uh, we've been trying to take game devices and use them for things other than actual games. But the Wiimote, the reason why this has been such a, a sexy new invention, is because this allows you to interact with your game console by just pointing and clicking. It's just very natural kind of movements. So if we use this and we hook it up with the computer, again, we're just taking advantage of something that's really natural and saying, you know, why do we just have to stick to games? We can actually use this thing to do, you know, subtle interactions. And then the drum pad is going to be used to switch between different modes. Mostly what I'm looking at is the more practical aspects of how we build software. There's a lot of good ideas that have grown up in industry that have never been formalized, studied, organized. So a lot of what I'm doing is trying to take ideas that are already in use and make them a little bit more accessible, maybe do some of the background research to find out which ones actually work, and if so, when and why, and put them into some sort of coherent whole. The enthusiasm that the students bring is what makes the job really rewarding. I don't know if you know, but enrollment in computer science has been declining since the dot-com boom. We're now at half the enrollment we had in 2001, even though there's been steady year-on-year -year growth of about 4% in demand. So when we go to events like DemoCamp, where I met you last night, Every single employer there is desperate for good programmers. One of the groups that's coming in just a little bit before five is actually a collaboration between computer science and the art department to create a, an exhibit, uh, an art exhibit for Nuit Blanche. Every single aspect of our lives is being touched by computers. And one of the things I think the department has to do is a better job of reaching out to people to get that message across is that almost anybody who can program well is pretty much guaranteed an interesting job that, that actually does something useful in society. This whole thing has been experimenting just for the sake of experimenting. We had no idea where this was going to go. And that's why when we did things like with the DDR footpad, by the time we had unlocked it, we were saying, okay, you know, now we can interact with the computer using our feet. We have absolutely no idea what we're going to do with it still. It's fun. I'm, I'm doing on the job outside, outside of this. This is mainly for personal interest and that's it. That's, I like doing this. There's so many things that they teach you, there's so many things that they put you inside that you wouldn't experience in any other engineering program. Mostly when you go out to industry or you work in certain companies, you get paid to do a particular task, right? But someone else decides what that task is, someone else figures out, you know, what it is that you're going to work on. Here, we have complete freedom. You know, the summertime starts and we're told you have four months to do anything you want. I like the fact that everything I work on right now, you know, it ends up being some of the coolest things that you end up seeing in society. Every time I've gone on a trip, I've come back to find more pink hippos on the shelf. And I think, or at least I hope, it's one of the other instructors having a practical joke at my expense. But sometimes late at night, I hear them whispering and I have to wonder a little bit what's going on. What do they tell you at night? Can we turn the camera off? Thank you to the Computer Science Department of the University of Toronto. That's it for this episode of Bike Club. We'll see you next time. <laughs>